Hi, it's Leslie Stalker, and we're back with our third part in the series of painting fabric. Um, these are chair seats, slip seats uh, that go on my dining room chairs. This uh, was what it looked like before, and we've painted it with pure and original chalk paint. Um, couple things about painting fabric. Um, it tends to, the paint tends to soak in a lot. So you're going to use more paint than you would on a wood surface. Um, also, when you paint, it's a good idea to dip your brush in, helps the paint smooth. I've put uh, three coats on, probably would like to put one more, but just for the sake of time, we're not able to. But the other thing you can do besides just painting it in a plain color is, uh, and we'll just use this as, as, uh, as our pattern. Um, a lot of times you'll see a ticking stripe, uh, like on a French linen, it's very popular to paint that on. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you how to paint a pattern on a piece of fabric. This is frog tape. It's a uh, great masking tape. And you're going to use it to keep your edge nice and clear. So we'll do a stripe down the middle. And You want to press on the edge to seal it. Then I'm going to take uh, my paintbrush and I've got a little bit of uh, paint left over from my other project, so I'll just go ahead and use that. This is Louis Blue and just going to lightly go over. a little bit more right down here and then once you get it to where you think it looks pretty good you want to remove your tape while it's still wet the paint's still wet and it gives you a nice clean edge uh, we've gone ahead and we've painted our blue stripe um, if you remember i used pure and original white chalk paint that is dry and one of the techniques I recommend after your piece is dried, and again, we're just for the sake of time, we'll just assume that is, is lightly take a uh, fine grit sanding sponge, and you just want to gently rub the surface a little bit. Not too much. Just like that. Then once it is, uh, once you've done that, you can go ahead and wax. So I used a uh, fine grit sanding pad, uh, 320. You can find these at Home Depot or Lowe's, any, any garden and supply store. Uh, they last a long time, especially for something like this. You can rinse them out and use them again. Then to seal uh, the fabric, um, I have used pure and original paint on the white. I used Annie Sloan paint for the blue, but you can use Annie's wax um, to seal other brands of paint. And the reason that you're going to seal this is again, it's gonna help protect it. Um, once it dries, you can, you're not gonna buff it to a shine, but it almost uh, looks like a piece of leather and it wears beautifully. Be sure to push your wax in hard. Really work it into the paint and the fabric. And then just take a soft cloth and wipe off any extra. And there you have it. So we'll 
Once this is dry, I'll go on and, and complete the entire seat and it'll be ready to pop back in my chair. I do get questions about this. Um, a lot of people are worried that the paint's gonna run off, rub off on uh, clothing. You don't really need to seal it with the wax. It just helps protect it. Uh, it does not rub off. It's, see my hand? It stays on very well. Um, you don't want to put too much wax. Again, just a little bit, just a little bit. And uh, another way you can uh, make it go on a little smoother is to dip your brush in a little mineral spirits and that'll help dilute it. If you like this, be sure to hit the like button and also that you've subscribed so that uh, you'll see the new ones the next time they come out. And if you've had any problems or you just want to give me some feedback, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you soon.